What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to cover what you should be buying if your goal is to get ready for summer. I went to the store a couple days ago and I figured I would pull everything out of my fridge, show you guys basically how I eat in order to lose fat, get lean, and get ready for the summer. I know it's only January, but you start now. When summer comes, you ain't rushing. So if you guys are ready to get this epic video underway, then as always, I'm here to show you the way. Let's do it! definitely have a lot of stuff to go over. I know some of you guys might be a little overwhelmed by looking at all this, but I promise you, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. As with all things in life, knowledge is power. So what I'm going to do is go over every single item I buy. So that way you have a good idea of what you're doing and what you should buy. And before I break this down, I will say, step one, when you're trying to eat better, I understand some of you guys have families at home, so this might not be possible. But for me, what has always worked best is eliminating all the bad food from my house. If you have chicken breast in the fridge, but next to it, you have a pint of ice cream and it's late at night, that's where that temptation comes from. So I would encourage each and every one of you to clean out your pantries, clean out your fridge, clean out your freezer, and then if you take that food, you can always donate it or give it to a friend. Because if you're in this and you're really serious about this, you do gotta make that commitment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. What I'm gonna do is actually fly the camera like this. That way, if there's something in this video you wanna screenshot, something to add to your shopping list, you can do that. It's not just me holding it up and you gotta zoom in. So hopefully you guys like this style right here. Comment below, let me know what you think. Start off with proteins now. When you are trying Trying to burn fat, protein is essential. It is the most thermogenic of every macronutrient, meaning that your body actually burns the most calories trying to break down and digest protein over any other macronutrient. Macronutrients being protein, fats, and carbs. Ideally, when you're buying proteins, especially things like lean ground beef, when I'm buying it, I always make sure I get 93.7 lean or leaner because regular ground beef is gonna have a ton of fat that you don't really want in your diet. Lean ground beef is huge for me, especially when I'm like making tacos or I want some burgers. It doesn't gotta be all chicken breast. And I'm telling you guys, the whole chicken rice broccoli thing you don't got to do just that. You can have fun with dieting and that's how you make it a lifestyle. And moving on, we got more lean ground beef here. And as you can see, it is frozen. I do recommend at the store stocking up and freezing it. All you got to do is sit it in the fridge the night before. You want to use it, it'll thaw on its own and you're good to go. Moving into more proteins, we also have 99% lean ground turkey. I'm not going to lie to you, this stuff can taste like cardboard really quick, but it's about the leanest source of protein you can get other than tilapia, but I'm good on tilapia. We also got some salmon. This is a good source of healthy omega-3 fat. I know you're probably looking at that skin right there and thinking I'd never eat that and honestly this has been in my freezer forever because of that skin I told myself I'd try it and I never have <laughs> but you can buy it without the skin and salmon's actually really good a good way to diversify your protein we also have eggs a great source of protein and healthy fat boom nothing beats eggs in the morning most of my clients that I have on programs the first meal always includes eggs as long as they like eggs because eggs are really just a powerhouse food and it wouldn't be <laughs> a protein bodybuilding diet without some chicken breast once again another lean protein source and it's really cost effective I think that's why a lot of people do chicken because when you're cooking all the time Lean ground beef can kind of add up in price, whereas chicken, $1.99 a pound, so you're getting a lot of value here. This is where sauces come into play to diversify. You can get burnt out on plain chicken quick, but as long as you have a good variety of sauces, you'll be just fine. So those are my main proteins. Now moving into carbs. I eat a ton of rice. Once again, rice and chicken go together well because they're both very cost effective. Get yourself a rice cooker. Just throw your rice down in there, and boom, should probably clean that. Down in there, you can put your frozen veggies in here, put the lid down, hit the white rice button, and then boom, your veggies and rice are done in about 40 minutes. Love that thing along with my air fryer. Now we got some whole wheat buns if we're making our lean hamburgers. Bread doesn't have to be the bad guy, guys. I'm telling you, everything in moderation. Now, if you need something quick, these are a lifesaver. Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. 90 seconds in the microwave and you have yourself some plain white rice ready to go. You can even pair this with something like a tuna creations packet. Open it up, ready to go. 15 grams of protein. You do three of these, one of these, that's a meal. All about adapting to every situation, guys. Also got some low sodium rice cake. These are great for a snack. Put a little bit of natural peanut butter on them. Good to go. Once again, with the lean ground beef. I do a lot of tacos. So I have here spinach and herb wraps. These are great along with some standard whole wheat wraps as well. You can also buy high fiber wraps, which I do, but I find that if I eat too many of those on taco night, my belly gets a little crazy, but you won't know till you try it. And we also got some grits. I know some of you are like, I'm not eating grits, but I'm telling you, they're really not that bad. But you get the hang of them. A lot of this stuff is just adjusting your palate because in this day and age, everything has added sugar and we're so used to having that sweet sugar in our diet. When you switch over to plain stuff, at first it can be a little jarring, but I promise you, you eventually get 
addicted to how good you feel just eating better. Now, these are some of my secrets here. I don't know why no one ever talks about this, but white queso macros are actually pretty good. Only three grams of fat and three grams of carbs per serving. If you use this stuff sparingly, you don't do a jar a day, this can really help to add to your tacos, to your burgers, to whatever you're doing, even your chicken, while still keeping you on track. Tony, this stuff's a game changer, along with some creamy Alfredo sauce. Sometimes I'm doing like lean ground turkey, there's not like any fat in it, I can add in some of this Alfredo sauce, and it makes a really good meal. The macros really aren't that bad on this either. You just gotta make sure you're checking labels on a lot of this stuff, because some are better than others, some are absolutely terrible, and some you can really get away with. The sugar-free barbecue sauce. To be honest, I eat this stuff, and I really can't tell too much of a difference from regular barbecue sauce. Maybe I'm just used to it. We only have two grams of carbs per serving compared to most barbecue sauces that are gonna have a ton of sugar. So it's not about giving everything up completely, it's just about making better choices. We also got here some Angry Mills peanut powder. Probably won't have this at your store. These guys sent me this one, but you can do like PB Fit or PB2. Those are really good if you mix them with your oatmeal or anything like that. Wouldn't be a fitness video without some natural peanut butter. I have a love-hate relationship with this stuff, guys. It's obviously amazing, but it's very calorie dense. So too much of this, you're gonna go over your calories pretty quick. So this is something, if you have a sweet tooth, this stuff can be dangerous to keep around. And that's just from my personal experience. But if you have self-control, natural peanut butter can be great too. Got another pack of 98% lean turkey breast. Put that over here. I wanna say I got that because it was very cheap. Only 1% more fat than the 99% version, but couldn't pass up the deal. Now back to sauces. Some buffalo sauces you buy, like I said before, are gonna have added fat, added sugar. This one was not bad. There's no fat in this. Only one gram of carb per serving. Shop smarter, I'm telling you. Once you learn to read these nutrition labels, it'll make your entire shopping experience way easier. If you want a video where I break down how to read a nutrition label, comment down below. The Chipotle pepper sauce. I kind of like keeping these a little more organic, although most hot sauces are gonna be pretty good for you. It's hard to find a bad for you hot sauce, really. The thing about hot sauces is most of them don't really have any macros. This has zero fat, zero carb, zero protein, zero calories. Have fun with it, just make sure your stomach can handle it. And as far as cooking goes, I do use extra virgin olive oil a little bit, but I find I feel the best doing coconut oil. Jury's still in or out on this. Some people say it's not good for you. Some people say it is, but honestly, I've been eating it for so long, I just really enjoy it. I just feel good after I eat it. So I cook with a lot of extra virgin coconut oil. And you notice I have it unrefined and cold pressed. That's how you want it. That's the most natural form. Oh, I almost forgot about these. Now we have some natural ground bison patty. These are gonna have a little more fat, similar to regular ground beef. So just be careful you're not doing too many of these if your goal is weight loss. Now, if you're bulking or you're trying to put on size, go ahead and have fun, but dieting, this might not be the best option, but bison is really good. It's a little pricey, but it is good. We move into some snacks. I do drink almond milk from time to time. Not an everyday staple, but if you're drinking protein shake, mix it with almond milk if you don't like just the water taste and just make sure you do the unsweetened version. That way there's no added sugar. And I'm telling you, it tastes just like a milkshake. I also got a cereal protein bar here. Keep these around just in case you need something quick to grab while you're on the go. Similar to some of the other stuff I was showing you guys earlier. These aren't bad at all. Just be careful once again, having these around because it's easy to eat a lot of them if you get a little craving. So try not to go too overboard with these. But as you can see, woo, we got two empty boxes here. We've definitely gone through them. Back on the snacks, we also got some roasted almonds. Almonds are great for a snack to fill you up. Similar to peanut butter though, in that it can be easy to eat too many. So make sure you portion them out and weigh them. I do recommend getting a food scale. I have a link in my description if you want a nice, cheap, effective food scale so you can weigh your stuff out in. Because once you start doing that, you really can't fail at a diet so you know exactly what you're putting in your body. And we also got some Oval Redenbacher Smart Pop. You ain't gotta give up your popcorn. 94% fat free, only 15 calories per cup. Make a bag of this on movie night, throw the chips out, and you got yourself a nice filling snack that is not adding calories. So love making these. I do get a lot of crap for this from time to time, but I do drink Diet Pop. I'm a huge fan of Diet Root Beer. I literally can't taste the difference between regular root beer. I do drink a lot of Powerade Zeros, and at this time, I do got some Diet Dr. Pepper as well. Zero calories in all of these. And these two pops, the reason I drink them is because they don't have any caffeine. So if I'm drinking one late at night, it's not gonna mess my sleep up. Jury's out on the aspartame hurting you or not. I'm pretty sure it's not good for you, but you know, do this at your own risk. This helps me a ton when I'm having a craving, fills my stomach up. I love that carbonation. If you're a big pop drinker, that might be a good go-to. Got instant grits once again. The convenience here is way better than those grits, I will tell you that. Got cream of wheat. I actually seen this on another fitness YouTuber's channel and tried it out, and I really do like it. But once again, it's a little bland. So you can always add like a scoop of protein or something to it. They had protein oats forever and absolutely loved it. Oh, we got some egg whites. A lot of people is sick to their stomach when I mention egg whites, and I never really eat egg whites by themselves. If I'm going to, this is gonna sound gross, but I'll just drink this entire thing. 50 grams of protein. But normally if I'm doing egg whites, I'm weighing them out and mixing them with regular eggs, and you can't really taste them that way. Throw some spinach and stuff in there with them. Make yourself a nice little omelet. And then oatmeal. I got original instant oatmeal, basic oatmeal, complex carbohydrates, good way to get your day started. But if you need something sweet, these lower sugar maple and brown sugar oatmeal packets are the best. Only four grams of sugar per packet, but the taste is still amazing. So I'm telling you, these are a great place to start if you're just dieting. So you get a little bit of sweet, but some of the healthy too. Three grams of fiber. And then
and let me show you my veggies. As far as veggies go, I keep it pretty simple. I do a ton of broccoli. Make sure when you're buying it that you do the florets because if you buy chopped broccoli, you're going to get a lot of the stems, which I don't really like. I typically trim my stems off. You don't have to, but I do. A lot of the nutrition is in that green head anyways. I eat a lot of broccoli. And the best way I found to cook it, like I said, is steam it in my rice cooker. That makes it very soft and it doesn't really have a texture. It's not hard to eat. That's how I like to do it. That way I don't really feel like I'm eating greens. I can mix it in with my rice. You don't even really know it's there. And Brussels sprouts. Not a lot of people like these, but I don't find them too bad. They're very filling. A lot of nutrition in there. That's one thing I always say. If you're eating good, you want to make sure you get your greens in. I didn't realize how many vitamins and minerals I was missing out on until I started eating these and you instantly just feel better. Normal American diet is missing out on a lot of these micronutrients. So if you haven't been a big vegetable eater, I'm telling you, give it a shot. And then finally, the most important thing in my book is coffee. I drink a ton of black coffee. Also fast in the morning. So for me, a zero calorie coffee gets me going, gives me the energy that I need to get through my day. I buy Starbucks, but you can really buy whatever coffee you want. If you've been adding sugar and creamy to your coffee, just make sure you either switch to better brands with less sugar or you just switch over to black. This is really the best way to go. So yeah, that is basically what my shopping trip looks like. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe for more content. Before we go, I do want to impart on you guys a couple words of wisdom just from my life experiences and some stuff I've ran into when it comes to starting this whole diet lifestyle. What you have to understand is that people in your life that you may think have your best interests at heart do not always. Anytime you begin a radical shift in what you're trying to do, right? You try to better yourself and people see that. People that are kind of stuck in the same routines over and over again that have no interest in self-improvement, they are not going to like what you're trying to do here. You're going to go to a restaurant, you're going to try to eat healthy and they're going to try to steer you down the wrong path. They might see you making progress and they're going to hate on it a little bit. You're getting too skinny. You're fine the way you are. Don't change. You're going to hear all of it, guys, because I most certainly have and most certainly did, especially from my family when I first started this lifestyle. The thing about people is that when you try to improve yourself, it makes them uncomfortable on the inside. And people push back against change as much as they can. Even we do in our own heads. When you first start this, your brain's going to try to fight back and tell you that you're not going to be able to do what you set out to do. But I promise you, if you persevere through it and you put your best foot forward with this, you can do anything you put your mind to. If I had to give you any advice at all with this entire thing is to just do you. Go after what you want 100%. And don't listen to the people that pretend like they have your best interest at heart because they might call you crazy. They might not understand what you're trying to accomplish. But remember this, small minds talk about people. Big minds talk about progress, talk about goals, talk about going after what you want in life to make yourself happy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And don't forget to smile, remain positive, and paste someone a comment because you never know whose day you make it better with. That we are out here. This has been a Remy to James production. I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys. That was a terrible nightmare. Prototype 7 drops January 17th. iTunes pre-order now available. Oh man. Need to go to the before bed.